Welcome to the Verizon Halftime, the network America relies on. <coughs> this is the Brock Purdy story. Two touchdown passes in the first half, and the Niners with the lead over the Dolphins. But let's see what else is going on here in Week 13. All right, the Seattle Seahawks at the Los Angeles Rams. That's my buddy, Matthew Stafford, quarterback for the Rams. He was placed on IR with a neck injury, so he'll be out for a while. Watching Geno Smith throw. Noah Fant, beautiful throw by Geno. Four-yard touchdown. Seahawks up 14-10 to 10 over the Rams. Walker in the third has to lead the football the game with an ankle injury. Seahawks 14, Los Angeles Rams 13 at the half. Jamar Chase welcome back. He's missed four games with a hip injury. Quick slander, quick post. Call it what you will. It's, uh, what do you call it, Sean? Touchdown. Bullet. Touchdown, all right. Joe Burrow, the T. Higgins, a 12-yard touchdown. 14-10, to 10, Cincinnati over Kansas City. Derek Carr, quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders. He is picked by Bryce Callahan. Balls up in the air. Callahan takes it back. 26 yards for the touchdown. Heck of a ball game. Chargers 10. Raiders 10. Titans at the Eagles. A.J. Brown hugging his former coach. Mike Vrabel said to him, why didn't you pay me, dude? He said, ah, you're no good. No good. I'll show you good. Two touchdowns receiving on the day. That is a 29-yarder by Brown. Over 100 yards in receiving. 35 to 10 Philadelphia over Tennessee. Taylor Heineke. Quarter, quarterback for the Commanders, and they have now won three straight. Heineke over the middle to Jahan Dotson. Good job of running after the catch. Breaks two tackles, outruns the remaining team. A 28-yard score, and game tied. In overtime, game tied. 20, Washington, 20, New York Giants. Michael, what's going on? I know, I know. Packers at the Bears. Rogers says, I own the Bears, so here's a little handoff. As you see, Christian Watson, the Young rookie takes him to the outside. A 46-yard touchdown. Yes. Two-point conversion is good. Green Bay 28, Chicago 19. Jets at the Minnesota Vikings quarterback, Kirk Cousins. He just has a good year, year in and year out. Top of the screen, Jefferson to the outside. Lay it there, good route. Man on man, get the inside coverage, move to the outside. You'll beat the guy. That's what Jefferson did. 27-22, Minnesota on top of the Jets. Deshaun Watson back at quarterback for the Browns has not played in two years, but it's Kyle Allen of Houston. Ball batted in the air. Tony Fields takes it back 16 yards for the touchdown. Browns did not score an offensive touchdown, but they won the game. Cleveland 27, Houston 14. Lamar Jackson, quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens, has to leave the game with an injured knee, did not return. In comes Tyler Huntley. He takes it in from two yards out. Ravens win a close one, 10 to 9, over the I cannot score a touchdown Denver Broncos. Unbelievable. Hey, the Detroit Lions have won four of their last five, and they roll today. Pittsburgh has won three of their last four, as those two teams start straightening things out maybe a little bit. And right now, you take a look at this. How it, Jimmy G, we see him leave the game early with that foot injury. He had to be carted off. They bring in Brock Purdy. He has looked really good here in this first half. But a lot of that has been because their defense has played so well has kept them in the game. Yeah, and I, I think it's a story of the first half. Jimmy Garoppolo's injury and the defense stepping up and playing well. Aside from the Sherfield 75-yard seam, which the safety took a bad route to the ball, and, 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 and that's the only breakdown. And, and Bosa, two sacks in the first half on third down. He's up to 13 sacks. This defense has been as advertised. Miami 0 for 5 on third down. Tua, for the first time this year, to me, looks uncomfortable, and he's missed on a number of throws. The story of the game coming into it was this defense versus this offense. So far, this defense has won the battle. Sports story of the week, the World Cup. It continues here on Fox all week long, and tomorrow our coverage begins at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And Brazil later on.